Good evening, everyone. Do that again. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Thank you. 
We are your team for the evening, introducing the awards. Uh, my name is Sue Rigby, I'm the Vice-Chancellor. And my name is Marianne, and is my mic on? Yes. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, so before we kick off, just a little bit of housekeeping. We're not expecting any fire alarms, so if one goes off, one of you let it off and we'll come for you later. But in the meantime, make your way to a safe place and we'll count you and let you go. Um, <laughs> The toilets are exactly where they always are. You most, taught, most of you teach or are taught in this building. Um, and we'll have a comfort break about halfway through the ceremony. But it's five minutes, okay? So just like on Zoom, we're counting down to, to <laughs> the resuming of the ceremony. Um, to, be, to be nominated for one of these awards means that your colleagues think you're fantastic. So everybody who's been nominated tonight has really done something noticeable and admirable. And even though there can only be one winner, and the rest of you will be crushed with a disappointment that will last a lifetime, <laughs> I want you to just bear up with that. It's part of the growing and developing that we all have to do. I would just say that neither Marianne nor I were nominated for any award. <laughs> and, and we've dealt with it, so you can too. But... The process of this is quite complicated, so I want to highlight it for the winners to be. So what we'll do, we have gold envelopes and everything. When we start, we'll read out the, the category for which people are nominated. We'll read out the nominees' names. We'll dramatically open our envelope, and we will announce the winner. Everyone will give you a round of applause with that tinge of envy that you can really <laughs> enjoy. But stay where you are because there's worse to come. Because for each of you, we have a quotation, which is what your nominator said about you. Some of them are really rude, but we've <laughs> <laughs> obviously we've edited them so they look good. <laughs> so stay where you are while we read out the nomination because you sure don't want to be standing at the front while you're told how wonderful you are. Uh, and then come up to the front. We will give you a certificate. They are gorgeous made of very thick cardboard. You can write lists on the back. Don't show, you. Don't show the winner. You can write lists on the back. <laughs> and you can then, before you sit down, or before you go to have your photograph taken, you can have one of these amazing prints. It's just a little something. Bear in mind, it's not the value of the award that matters. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sentiment behind it. I don't, we counted them up, and I think that if you're a team that wins, you can only have one. <laughs> but those of you who've been to the town halls will appreciate that we forked out for one for each winner. So, so this is good. So when you've been handed your certificate, and we've shaken your hand, and you've picked up your print, if you want to walk over to the, the stand there, your picture will be taken. Now, some people had the sense to not be here tonight. Because <laughs> many of you are starting to realize that this was not what you signed up for. So in the event that someone was unable to be here in, in person, we'll announce their name, and you'll probably want to give them a round of applause. We'll do the really embarrassing quotation, and then we'll invite you to do another round of applause in case they're watching online. So, is that clear? Have I missed anything? No, all great. Great. So, we are scripted, <laughs> and we have practiced extensively, but Marianne is better than I am, so I kick <laughs> off, and then you get the higher quality presentation later. But thank you for joining us. I mean, joking apart, it's fantastic to see so many people in a room again. It's such a relief. It's so wonderful to see so many faces, so many familiar people, so many friends, so many students who are, you know, so beautifully kind of together and, and here and with us. And the whole community is here, and that's what matters about these awards. Professional services, staff, academics, students, of all kind of flavours from first years to postgraduates. And this is the community that we valued through the pandemic. You know, we only met on Zoom for two and a half years. But this is actually what we were trying to replicate. This is what Bath Spa University is about. Not actually the buildings we're sitting in, not even the lake, or Main House, or Caution, but just this community of people who can have a drink and a laugh and value the same set of things, consistency and honesty and an open approach to learning. 
and a care for the academic environment that means that we put everything we can into that endeavour. And that's what's so special about us at Bath Spa. And that's why it's such a delight to all be here tonight. Just, just a few of the highlights from the last year. Um, and some of these are about buildings, actually, but never mind. We have put up quite some big ones recently. But the Loxbrook campus was recognised by REBA, so the Royal Institute of British Architects gave us national awards for that building. To be honest, I didn't think the building worked all that well to begin with. But since I've seen it with all of you, students and staff in it, and heard that buzz, I realise it's a brilliant endeavour. Um, of course, the, the person who who oversaw that is here tonight, Richard, who runs the state. So, Richard, well done. That was just phenomenal. Uh, we awarded Tyrone Mings an honorary doctorate. He's tall. <laughs> He's brilliant as well. Um, a, real, a real joy to have as part of our community. And we achieved, and some of you were critical about this, but I, I'm... I'm proud of this. We achieved silver accreditation for being a hedgehog-friendly campus. <laughs> I, I don't know if that means our hedgehogs have a kind of slightly smug kind of, where do you live? Oh, <laughs> oh we live at Newton Park, actually. <laughs> and then they meet, like, someone from a gold. <laughs> but then they probably got squashed right across the road, so they rarely meet these days. Sorry, that was what you mean. <laughs> um... So students on our MA Nature and Travel Writing course were recognised in the 2022 New Travel Writer of the Year competition. Uh, we became certified as a social enterprise. We supported, though it'll never be enough, our Ukrainian colleagues um, through the trials and tribulations that they're going through. And staff and students from Commercial Music raised funds for the Disasters Emergency Committee's Ukrainian Humanitarian Appeal. I think you raised £3,000. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's a drop in the ocean of what they need, but a real testament to who we are. <clears throat> the Spoken Word and Performance Poetry Society reached the finals of the annual Unislam Poetry Competition. Bastards, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't recognise your true worth. That's all I can say. Um, and Basketball achieved its best ever results in the Research Excellence Framework which is an enormous tribute to all of the academics here uh, and many professional staff. And I just highlight Sarah Priston as the architect of all of those submissions. It's brilliant news for all of us. <laughs> I'm nearly done. In My Skin, a BBC Three show produced by Bath Spa University lecturer Sophie Francis, won two awards at this year's BAFTA TV Awards. Wow! That'll be in our Teaching Excellence Framework submission. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and this year we, learnt, we launched a new leadership development programme for students which was designed to build leadership capacities for any of our students of African, Arab, Asian and Caribbean heritage. That's the first time we've run that and meeting those students at the end of their course, I, I think it was a real success and we'll broaden that out going forward. I think it's a really positive way to challenge the fact that we are not as diverse a community yet as we would like to be, but we are moving in the right direction because everybody's welcome here. It's the values that we look for and nothing else. So, Marion. So congratulations to all of those who completed the Bath Spa Powers um, <coughs> that was alongside the university and the Students' Union. So, without further ado, we're gonna get on to the Vice-Chancellor Awards. So we'll take it in turns, but between us, um, we'll run through each award and tell you a little bit about what the award is for, who the finalists are, and then announce each winner and read an extract from the winning nomination as Sue's described. So finalists have been notified, but winners have not yet been notified. So this will be the first time they'll be hearing the news. So nice and exciting. Good. Good luck to all the finalists. We don't know who you are. She lied. <laughs> <laughs> but but we, we have been absolutely straightforward about not telling you, apart from that certificate. So, <laughs> on, on with the show, Marianne. <laughs> Fab. So, with the first award, we are starting with uh, awards nominated by staff and students. So, this is the Academic Impact Award. So, 
This award recognises the impact students have had on the learning experience, whether that be a rep, working to improve the course, supporting other students or campaigning for resources. We have three finalists, so I'll read them out and then I'll read the winner. Our finalists are Megan Martin, Sapphire Henriksen and Jennifer Carter. And the winner is, for Academic Impact, Sapphire Henriksen. <laughs> Sapphire has made a big impact in her role as Senior Academic Rep for Art, Film and Media. She takes her role very seriously and has really had an impact on the student academic life. Whether it be mass making workshops or advocating fiercely in SQMC meetings, Sapphire is the perfect representative. She has not only inspired students, she has inspired staff too. Woo! Up you come, Sapphire. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sapphire. Now we are moving on to the second award. This is Impact on Student Life, again nominated by staff and students. <coughs> this award recognises the work the students do for the lives of others outside of their studies. It recognises the work students have done supporting others throughout the student life, such as housing, friendships, life-changing experiences, settling in, inspiring and supporting others. We have four finalists. These are Jennifer Bell, Isabella Perez de Marlman, Mon, Victoria Norcross, Charis Mortel. And the winners are Isabella Perez and Victoria Norcross. So as we have two winners, I've got two extracts to read out. So first is, Isabella has actively supported and developed a sense of community among her year group after the difficulties they have faced during the pandemic. The transition to the second year of BA studies has been very challenging this year and she has played an important role in developing the student experience by arranging social events and serving year as a rep. And our second extract. Victoria has proved to be really engaged in the course and in addition to making great strides in her own work of development, she offers use useful and considered support to fellow students. I think she has managed to say something pertinent and supportive to everyone in the cohort. Fab, Isabella and Victoria, if you come. <laughs> that beautiful print. You take my voice as well. <laughs> so while Victoria has her photograph taken, I think we'll offer another round of applause to Isabella, who I think is online. Next, we go to the Community, Im Community Impact Award, which is also nominated <coughs> by staff and students. So this award recognises students who have made a difference to their community. It recognises volunteers, fundraisers, and people who campaign on behalf of those in need. So we've got three finalists, and those are Deja Lyons, Jasmine Raymond Barker, and Emma Davis. <laughs> and the winner is, wrong envelope, <laughs> oh, I don't know if I have the envelope. Nice bit of suspense there. <laughs> Community Impact winner is Deja Lyons. <laughs> and 
and our extract. DJ will be the, a worthy winner of this award. Not only is she the most supportive and bubbly person to be around, but she also puts her energy into changing the environment. Her endless contributions include being a youth ambassador for Plastic Free Cayman, is a co-creator of Ocean's Heroes Bootcamp Caribbean, and being recognised by the CMI, CCMI, all while studying global development and sustainability. Well done, Deja. Is Deja here today? Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Fab. So now we go on to the final award that I'm going to say this side of the break, which is Team of the Year. This is awarded to a student team or group that has made a significant contribution to their peers, basketball university, or the wider local community. This could be a sports team, club, society, or group who have demonstrated a collective achievement and positive contribution. So again, we have four finalists. These are Bass Bar Dance Club, Amnesty Bass Bar Uni Group, Yoga Society, and Bass Bar Women's Rugby Team. And the winner is, I'll find the envelope this time, for Team of the Year, Bass Bar Dance Club. club has had its most successful competition season to date this year, achieving four trophies for Bar Spa. Wellbeing has been a clear focus with dance families and the introduction of a wellbeing officer. They've been charitable, raising £600 for Off the Record with Bar Spa does Strictly, taking months of preparation. They've supported several other sports teams and their matches and collaborated on team socials. The team also shows inclusivity allowing anyone to give dance a go. go to see for some more awards. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. You've shown me how it should be done. Now you're going to find out how it really gets done quite a lot. So, <laughs> so the next award is Student of the Year, awarded to a student who exemplifies the university's graduate attributes. There are seven winners of this award, one for each school of study. The nominations for this award are made within each school of study and then carefully selected by the head of school. So when you don't win, you know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> I have one envelope with a lot of names, but I think what we should do is, for each student who wins, we'll bring them up to the front, give them a certificate, get their photograph taken and so on. So, Bath School of Design, the winner is Sophie Ogborn. <laughs> Sophie is a full-time carer who works hard to overcome the emotional and time constraints this puts on her studies. She's focused her design skills on solving problems that she and her family experience. Her engagement to learning on the course is excellent and she's friendly and open to new ideas and new ways of looking at things. She's progressing well into a talented, professional young designer. Sophie. We're just prolonging the agony, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be this embarrassed, you might as well be this embarrassed for an extra minute. <laughs> so, 
So next we have Bath School of Art, Film and Media, where the winner is Amber Wisteria. Amber has worked tirelessly throughout her studies at Bath Spa University, but more than that, she's worked proactively with her teaching team, student union, external stakeholders, prospective students and outreach colleges. Amber's commitment, not only to her own work, but to the broader student experience, is humbling. She lives by the mantra of paying it forward, which she actions in myriad ways. Well done, Amber. Build the silence and the tension. <laughs> Grand. Um, Bar School of Music and Performing Arts. And the winner is Jules Thornton. <laughs> Jules always achieves high grades and is in constant dialogue with all tutors. She's fully engaged in projects and a very proactive year group student rep who provides a strong voice for all our students. She's a great role model for our often technical subject that can be prone to unfounded gender and cultural assumptions. Well done, Jules. School of Sciences, uh, and the winner, though in his absence tonight, is Harry Watts. <laughs> Harry has worked hard throughout the year as a, senior, as a school senior student rep, ensuring the student voice is heard. Harry has collated feedback and always presented it in a positive and constructive manner, which has ensured staff are able to understand and action it. He's been particularly active in reviewing the student experience of blended delivery in the school. Um, and I would add, in my own voice, a really excellent student rep on the Board of Governors. So, in his absence at the University of Regina in Canada, a big round of applause for Harry. <laughs> you were very close then to getting out of sequence and getting the wrong certificate all the way through the evening. <laughs> That's fine. School of Education. And the winner is Karis Challenger. <laughs> Karis is a passionate, committed student who has excelled on the PGCE course and is becoming an excellent teacher. She's a creative practitioner and professional who puts students and child's learning and well-being at the heart of all she does. Karis is conscientious, resilient, and skillfully manages complexity and change. She thinks critically about children's education and her own practice through thoughtful reflection. These attributes will help Karis to flourish in the workplace. Well done. School of Writing, Publishing and the Humanities, and the winner, thanks Alison, <laughs> is Megan Martin. <laughs> Megan has made an excellent contribution to the development of the student community in her year group and has taken impressive steps to increase her own confidence in roles representing her peers this year. She served this year in a proactive role as a student rep in philosophy. In doing so, she's raised a number of salient points in order to help us improve the student experience and learning environment. 
She's also acted as a student ambassador at Open Days, where she represents the student view on her course, as well as now serving in the school-wide student representative role. She provides support to her peers and aims to actively encourage better course engagement across her year and an informed, compassionate approach to addressing issues around student well-being. Well done. That program. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. And finally, Bath Business School, where the winner is Emma Smith. Emma has worked extremely hard academically, but also has taken advantage of placement opportunities to develop skills and make connections. She worked very hard on her L6 event, the Careers Fair, and managed to secure a paid position with the careers team afterwards to help them develop a Careers Fair this semester. So we'll look forward to permanently uh, employing you as soon as you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to escape now. Well done, Emma. <laughs> So the next suite of awards are for academic achievement. Awarded to a student who's travelled furthest in their learning journey despite setbacks or starting position. There'll be seven winners, one for each school of study. The nominations for this award are made within each school of study and then carefully selected by the head of school. And the winners are, we'll take this one school at a time. For Bath School of Design, Alec Parks. They've worked consistently this year, listened attentively to criticism, and continued to adapt their approach to learn through the making process. The results are beginning to show in their ambitious project, which is becoming sophisticated and will be an impressive piece of work when completed. Alex can't be with us tonight, but hopefully is watching online, so let's give another round of applause. <laughs> The Bath School of Art, Film and Media, the winner is Lily Horner. <laughs> Lily has made exceptional shifts in her level of understanding of painting. Her paintings clearly evidence her research, both material and contextually, and her ability to evaluate and problem solve. Well done, Lily. You can design that for us next. <laughs> the Bath School of Music and Performing Arts, the winner is Eleanor Frank. Eleanor has improved dramatically over the three years here. She was a single mum during COVID and an integral part of the jazz and contemporary styles cohort. And I think she's here tonight.
School of Sciences. And the winner is Jessica Hart. <laughs> Jessica has put a huge amount of work into all her studies, improving every year, and this year has applied herself to the challenging Unlocking Criminology module where students learn alongside prisoners in local men's prisons. Not bad at all. So thank you. Well done, Jessica. And I think you're here too. Yes. We move on to the School of Education, where the winner is Rebecca Crowther. <laughs> Becky has been a student with Bath Spa University since 2019. During this time, she's completed her primary PGCE, undertaken a master's degree in inclusive education, and is currently studying for a PG certificate in dyslexia, whilst concurrently taking a professional qualification with us to enable her to become a specialist dyslexia assessor for children. While studying, Becky has also taken on a teaching role in a primary school where she supports children with special educational needs. Becky truly demonstrates the connection between learning and practice. Her passion for supporting children with special educational needs to reach their potential is exactly what we need more of in education. She truly has grown through her learning into a powerful advocate. I've been incredibly fortunate to work with her. Well done, Rebecca. For the School of Writing, Publishing and the Humanities, the winner is Sophie Griffith. <laughs> Sophie has produced work of consistently high quality since level four, demonstrating real flair for her subject, a lively debating style in class and warmth and compassion in expressing her ideas to others. She's also taken risks working in different formats and taking very different approaches in her decisions about what and how to focus her studies. Through this, she's developed new skills and explored challenging subjects in highly personal, reflective and careful ways. Sophie can't be with us tonight, but I hope she's watching online and we'll give her another round of applause. And finally, Bath Business School, where the winner is Georgia Price. <laughs> this, is, this is a long abstract. Georgia is a wonderful example of what happens when you give something your all. She's worked incredibly hard throughout her time here and faced every hurdle with dedication, tenacity and courage. She's made the most of every opportunity that was made available to her and has started to create her own little black book of industry contacts, as well as an industry-grade portfolio. She's been vocal in her experiences, and due to this, had, to part in molding, had a part in moulding the degree so that her peers and students who will follow in her footsteps gain a course that is fit for purpose. She's already utilising the lessons she took from her first, second and third year to start her own business, and equally importantly, has learned a huge amount about herself and has exceeded her own expectations academically. Well done, Georgia.
Well done to all our student winners. You have definitely made Bath Spa proud. Um, yes, you've done an amazing job. And just seeing you walk past us like that with your head held high and an absolute certainty that you deserve those awards is a brilliant, brilliant thing to see. We're at the halfway point, so you are allowed five minutes for a comfort break. <laughs> and we will start precisely in five minutes. So thank you, everyone. See you in a few seconds.
Thank you. I, she was far better at that than I was, so I just asked her to give... All right. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Um, after this, for anyone who wants to just chill out and enjoy drinks in the garden and whatever, then there's, there's no point where we're going to throw you out. Um, but we're aware that people online haven't been able to have quite the amenity we have, so we'll crack on with the awards. So these set of awards are staff awards nominated by staff, uh, and our first pair are for colleague of the year. So one for academic and one for professional services staff. So the academic award, um, I'm going to start that again as though I was competent. <laughs> Colleague of the Year is awarded to a member of staff who has enhanced the culture of respect, engagement and integrity in the university through their enjoyment of work, or appearance of enjoyment of work, <laughs> <laughs> and their promotion of friendliness and collegiality. Our academic finalists are Beck Feasy, Richard Johnson, Jen Kinlock, Karen Rugman and Priya Thapa. And the winner... Just checking. <laughs> it's Jen Kinlock. <laughs> Who enjoys work so much that she's <laughs> <laughs> having the evening off. <laughs> and who can blame her? <laughs> oh, yes. No. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's all the water I've been drinking. Jen, <laughs> you have filled a critical internal role within psychology with absolute attention to detail and excellence for several years now and as a result have become a trusted source of information, guidance and support for us all, especially new hires. Jen's a great colleague and a keystone to the department. Well done. <laughs> And professional services finalists are Ruth Wheeler, Sean Taylor, and Sharon North. And the winners are Ruth Wheeler and Sean Taylor. So this September, Ruth will have worked at BSU for 30 years. She's not only developed the SU shop to become the essential campus facility it is today, but also supported hundreds of students in their first jobs, building their confidence and experience. And Sean goes the extra mile with enthusiasm, friendliness and collegiality. It's important to him that any changes made provide benefit to all colleagues and students alike. He's happy to take on more work to ensure service that meets the needs of all involved. <coughs> I'm continuously impressed by his commitment to positive change and collaborative working. Ruth is here today with us, but I think Sean is on holiday. But a round of applause for them both. <laughs> Our next award is Manager of the Year, nominated by staff. Awarded to a member of staff who's demonstrated outstanding leadership and management, which is reinforced by excellent results in their area of responsibility. Our academic finalists are Dan Allen, Lucy Sweetman, Samantha Lane, Farzan Bonabi, and Wendy Hanrahan. 
And the winner is Sam Lane. Sam has been an outstanding manager. She's the interim head of school as well as subject leader for biology and has undertaken a large amount of teaching in addition to this. She's always made time for staff and been happy to support wherever she can and keeps the department a positive, happy and productive place to work. She is everything a manager should be. Well done, Sam. Our professional services finalists are John Everard, Steph Winard, Emily Shaw Leem, Alec Bennett, and Sarah Priston. And the winner is John Everard. John continues to work tirelessly for his department. He always goes above and beyond what's expected of him. And since he took on the role of manager, the staff in the department are happier and feel valued. He's incredibly well respected and as such gets 100% out of his team, even when they're under pressure. He always goes the extra mile for people. Well done, John. <laughs> Somebody do something about the screen so that it doesn't. <laughs> you can tell that I've been useless for too long. Well spotted. <laughs> then again, how could you miss it? Still, we've still got an hour, so we can take it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Our next award is Team of the Year, nominated by staff, awarded to a team of staff who, in the opinion of their peers, have made a significant contribution to the overall success of the university during the past year. Our academic finalists are the media team, film and TV, commercial music team and their technical support. And the winner is... You're not doing the drum roll anymore. <laughs> it is film and TV. <laughs> You'll stand there now while I read this out. <laughs> the team provided the filming and streaming of the 2022 <laughs> graduation <laughs> ceremonies. <laughs> Staffed by skilled and enthusiastic students and supported and led by thoughtful and imaginative staff, they provided a completely professional service. I've since worked with them on other projects and they were always a delight to encounter. They have an entrepreneurial approach to their work and are unfailingly patient in their technical explanations. <laughs> <laughs> And our professional services finalists are student information team, facilities and services, the library team, placements and work-based learning team, 
and the technical demonstrators in the TV studio at Newton Park. And the winners are... <laughs> exactly, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. The, li the little form says something different to my script, so I will go with the little form. <laughs> the winners are facilities and services and library and learning services. <laughs> The facilities and services team have been present on campus throughout the whole of the pandemic. They work in the background, and often when we are not around, such as during the pandemic, they yet continue to provide excellent work in many areas that are often unnoticed, from the grounds to cleaning, decorating, and preparing buildings, rooms, and spaces for events. And the library team constantly strives to provide the highest levels of service in all aspects of their work. They are each committed and positive and loyal to BSU. Any request, no matter how small or irksome, is responded to with professionalism and speed. They strive to always look forward, improve, develop and enhance the services they provide. Well done, everyone. Take your time. It's your moment to shine. <laughs> Next award is for social impact. This award recognises staff who've made a positive contribution that addresses a social challenge. And the finalists are Ben Simmons, Beck Feezy, and Stuart Reed. And the winner. Not opening in this. Is Ben Simmons. <laughs> ben has developed his teaching and research around supporting individuals with disabilities. His module has a long term social impact on our students' development, understandings, and skills relating to special educational needs. His recent large grant collaborative research project funded by the Wellcome Trust, has also started to produce its social influence in the disability communities in southwest regions and will have a long-term social impact sustainability. Well done, Ben. Well done. <laughs> Welcome. Congratulations. Children. Hi kids, watch from home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Cheers. And when you've had your photograph taken, do that again because whoever's looking after they'd probably say, Come back, come back, you will. one we're really proud of him <laughs> our next award is unsung hero or heroine so gender neutral <laughs> um, this is a winner selected by the whole staff community and it's awarded to a member of staff who quietly makes a significant impact to the success and day-to-day -day running of the university this award is for any member of university staff who deserves recognition for their hard work the academic finalists are Jen Kinlock, Joe Chambers, Sam Lane, CJ Skews, Mohamed Hubati, and Dylan Guire Roberts. And the winner 
Aqui. E Sam Lane. Sam was already leader for biology, but stepped in as interim head of sciences and additionally had to take on leading sociology and criminology. She brought her usual no-drama excellence to it all and managed to keep us afloat, despite the truly difficult circumstances and load. It was a Herculean task and should be recognised. Sam. Our professional service finalists are Abigail Brannigan, Colin Clark, Joe Cook, Madeline Carter, Jane Wakefield, and Shirley Kelly. And the winner. Thank you. Is <laughs> Madeline Carter. Maddie is a key part of the assessments graduation team. Over the last few years, her responsibilities have had to change, and she adapted amazingly. In-person exams ceased, and she took on responsibility for the postgraduate marks, assessment boards, and due to graduation being postponed, was solely responsible for the printing and sending out of over 3,000 certificates in a month. We truly could not have delivered the same standard of service to students and colleagues without her efforts and expertise. Madeline. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm now going to hand over to my competent presenter to finish the <laughs> award ceremony. Thanks, Sue. So <laughs> now we're down to the final four awards of the evening, which are nominated by students for staff. So Lecturer of the Year, nominated by students. This is awarded to a member of staff who has, in the opinion of student nominators, demonstrated outstanding, outstanding and inspirational teaching. We have the finalists. Joanna DeVry, Fox Benwell, Philip Hensher, Alexander de Sousa, Steve Holliman. And the winner is. Oh! <laughs> Woo! And the winner is. Lecture of the Year, Joanna de Vries. Do you extract your honour? See, that's my fault, actually. I left that for the print. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> you just stand there. For <laughs> <laughs> Joanna's enthusiasm and warmth rubs off on students. Joanna has gone above and beyond to make our cohort welcome. Her lecturers are engaging and her advice is incredibly useful. Joanna has made, has emphatic fantastic industry knowledge, and her passion shines when she delivers material. I look, look up to her as a mentor, and I know I could approach her with any question, and she would make the extra time to help. Well done, Jan. Well done, <laughs> so now we have Supervisor of the Year, and stay in your seat till I've done your extract. <laughs> so this is nominated by students and awarded to a postgraduate supervisor who has, in the opinion of student nominators, demonstrated outstanding and inspirational research supervision. Our finalists are Darren McKay and Roger Applebaum. Clap. <laughs> Now. 
enough. I do, I do the winner now, don't I? Yes. <laughs> Two prizes of the year is Roger Applebaum. <laughs> Roger is the most supportive supervisor I could ask for. His, it has been a tough year, and he has been there for me with detailed notes, professional advice, encouragement, kindness, and respect at every hurdle. He goes above and beyond to gather resources and make time for video or phone calls when I've needed the extra support. Well done, Roger. Congratulations. Outstanding support nominated by students. This award is awarded to a member of staff who has, again in the opinion of students, demonstrated outstanding support going above and beyond to enhance the experience for students. Our finalists are Technical Demonstrators Publishing, Rebecca Feezy, Lucy Sweetman, Donna King and Sarah Favell. And the winner is For our standing support, Lucy Sweetman. <laughs> Lucy goes above and beyond, providing extra support for students both in and out of class time. During one-on-one -on -one sessions, Lucy is often inspirational, informative and motivating. Lucy embodies the values of Bath Spa University as she conducts her lectures with respect and inclusivity to all students. Lucy is patient and cares for her students with great kindness. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> And now we have our final award, Student Champion of the Year nominated by students. Awarded to a member of staff who has shown commitment to championing the university voice and making positive changes at Basketball University. Our finalists are Caroline Dangerfield, Fox Benwell and Sarah Flavelle. And the winner is Student Champion of the Year, Caroline Dangerfield. <laughs> Caroline works tire tirelessly to support students to confidently and constructively articulate concerns in committees and meetings across the university ensuring the student voice is consistently at the heart of decision making and central to how students engage with their wider university experience. Well done, Caroline. So thank you for joining us tonight at this award ceremony. We hope you've really enjoyed it watching, whether you're here or you're in person. Um, thanks for tuning in at home. It's been brilliant to celebrate all your fantastic achievements. Well done to the nominee, nominees and the finalists. And thank you, everyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've so enjoyed this ceremony, Hi. I hope you've enjoyed the completely inept way in which the screen keeps going wrong. 
the total variation that we've shown, I mean, it, it looks spontaneous, doesn't it? But, you know, as you can tell, we practice for hours to get this right. <laughs> Thank you for the joy that you've brought to the evening in receiving awards or in graciously being finalists, finals, finalists and not getting an award. Thank you to all the senior colleagues and all of my junior colleagues and all of our students for attending. Please enjoy another drink in the beautiful sunlight. Uh, and I'll see you all in the VC Awards next year. Well done. Thank you, everyone. Woo!